Okay, you probably already know I'm a big fan of Giant Squid Audio Labs lavalier microphones, and I'm talking on one right now. But this is an interesting device for those of us that use Apple computers that have a line input for the microphone. You might have a problem where if you try to plug in a mic like the Giant Squid mic, it just isn't going to work. And you need a little device like this, or of course you can use a mixer, but that's kind of a hassle to carry around with you. But if you have this handy little device, it has a 9 volt battery, and you can see I use a lithium battery in there that lasts a long time. And here in this picture, it's not plugged in yet, but you can plug it in when you choose to use it. I'm told that it'll do about 600 hours of actual use. I don't know how much time on standby, but they do say to unplug the mic when you're not using it so that it doesn't drain the battery. But I'm guessing that's 600 hours of actual use. So um, we'll let you know after we, I'm gonna leave the battery in and see how long it lasts in the unit without taking it out. But I will be unplugging the mic each time and we'll see how long it lasts. But you can see high quality connectors, I love the construction of all of their, their gear, uh, Giant Squid Audio Labs. He hand makes these things. Uh, recently, he has changed over to where some of his mics are made by a company in Pennsylvania, I believe, still made in the USA. And they're, they're uh, ostensibly still going to be made to his quality standards. But up and down now, I think he's been making all these things in his basement. But very high quality. You can see how everything goes together. It's all screwed together. It's all shielded nicely. He's got all the details on his website, which is giantsquidaudiolab.com, giantsquidaudiolab.com. Check it out. But this is a quality item. I think it was around $70, uh, give or take. And for something that is commercial grade quality like this, I think it's well worth the money. And I highly recommend his microphones. Now I'm in a fairly noisy environment here where I'm, where I'm shooting this. There's some vehicle traffic off in the distance, and it's a windy day, so I don't know how much background noise you're going to get, but I am using his mic, and I am using this device plugged right into my Mac Pro. So I hope you enjoyed this as a solution for getting another way to get audio into a Mac Pro or MacBook Pro or other um, Macintosh computers. Thanks for listening.